Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another video of question and answer with Dr. Zakir Naik where a brother asked question that why a disabled person pay someone if he can't fast. So watch the video and after that we will talk about the video. Okay, we should be very careful to make sure our illness is reasonably severe then. That's right. Next point if you like regarding the situation of a disabled person. Why is it a disabled person has to pay a ransom due to the fact they haven't fasted. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 184, that if it is difficult for a person to fast, he can either fast or pay a ransom. That is feeding of an indigent person or a poor person. The reason is that if a person is disabled or if he's sick permanently and there are no signs that he will become healthy, where he can observe fast. So the question of him compensating or the question for him to keep the fast later on doesn't arise at all. So that's the reason for him there is a ransom that he has to pay something that is equivalent to feeding an indigent person or feed an indigent person for every fast that he has missed. Dr. Zakir, regarding elderly people, which category of elderly people are exempt from fasting. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 184, that if it is difficult for a person to fast, he can either fast or he can give a ransom, that is feeding of a poor person. As far as those elderly people who are exempted are, those people whose health is so weak that if they fast, it will damage the health. A person who's reached a very elderly age, the age is not fixed whether it is 60, 70, or 80 or 90, depending upon his health condition. Due to the old age, if his health condition is bad, which prevents him from fasting, then is the time where he should feed one indigent person. And there is a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad oh, Sallallahu Alaihi Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 6, hadith number 4505, where our beloved Prophet said that the old elderly men and women, they need not fast. But they have to feed one poor person for every fast they skip. And similarly, there are various hadith. For example, if you read Dara Kutni, two stroke, 208, it says that if a person who has to give a ransom, he has to feed a poor person one mud of wheat. One mud is equal to two hands outstretched full of wheat. That's what you should feed. There's another hadith which says in Dar Kutni, 2 stroke 270, that Anas Mellah will with him one year when he became very old and he could not fast. So at the end of the month, he called 30 poor people and he fed them with bread, crumbs and meal, a proper meal for 30 poor people. So it means that for every fast you miss, you should feed one poor person. But coming back to the question that if the elderly person is of sound mind and not healthy, that's the time he has to feed a person or give ransom. But if a person is elderly and he becomes insane, if he's not of sound mind, then he doesn't have to fast, he's exempted, neither does he have to give any ransom, neither he has to compensate because he is like a child, as our beloved prophet said earlier, which I mentioned, mm -hmm. that the pen has been lifted on three categories of people. Mm. Person who's a child reaches puberty. So these people again become like children or they become like a person who's insane. We say that the person has become senile. So if he reaches an age in which his mental stability is not there, he need not fast, neither does he have to compensate the fast later on, neither does he have to pay any ransom. Okay. Uh, welcome back friends. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, in the video, the brother asked a very uh, interesting question, important question that why a person or why a disabled person uh, pay someone if he can fast. So uh, in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that those people which are not able to keep fast, which are unable to keep fast duty, uh, due to their uh, diseases or due to their uh, late age, so those people have to pay money to the uh, poor people or they have to 
feed the poor people for the time. Uh, let me explain that whenever you become in your late age like in your 80s or in your 90s and your bodies are completely weak and you are unable to walk and if you are not eat for a minute, if you are not drink for a minute, so your health become down. So at that time, at that condition, you are not allowed to keep fast because it will destroy your health and it's totally prohibited. The same thing is apply on a disease that whenever you cause a disease which is very harmful to you and eating and drinking is very reliable to you and in that condition you are not allowed to keep fast you have to eat well you have to keep fast well after that if your health is good so then you have to keep the fast again otherwise if it's uh, necessary that if your health is not going to be good and the doctor have been proved that this person is not going to be well, this person is going to be die within a week or with a couple of weeks. So at that time, the person allowed to pay money uh, for each and every face to the uh, poor people. Uh, I think at that time, the people must have to pay uh, 200 rupees or 250 per fast if they miss any kind of Ramadan due to disease or due to his late ages. I hope you like the video uh, and, and enjoy the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.